Okay, in this example, we'll see how um, we can improve our program by using a loop. So the first thing you'll notice is I only need to have one string variable name because the idea is I'm going to read it from the file, store it in the string variable, and then display that variable. Next time through the loop, I'm going to store the second name in that same variable. So this part of our program is still the same. Okay. And here's where things change. Instead of having like three statements where we read in three names and three see out statements where we display them, we're just going to put, we're going to read it in and display it. And we're going to put this in a loop. And what this um, while loop does, and you can see it's a while loop, and this is what's happening inside the while loop is while it doesn't find the end of file marker, EOF is the name of a function that checks for the end of file marker. When we created our input file, I told you it goes right there. So that's what it's looking for. Um, so again, if it finds it, it's true. So we put a not in front of it. If it, you know, so while it doesn't find it, it'll read a name, it'll output a name, then it'll go through again. And so let's just see what this looks like. Right? Pretty much does the same thing as he did before. But the benefit is, if I go to my input file now, and I add uh, more names, right? And I save it. And now I run my program, and now it runs for as many names as are in the file, okay? Um, this is really my preferred way of doing it. I'm going to show you um, how the textbook author might do this. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to comment this out. If you hold down the control key, and hit the period, you can comment a section of code. That just means I'm not using that code right now. Um, the textbook author does something like this. Where they read it right in the whiles loop and then, um, which you can do and as long as it's still reading data, the loop will continue to go through. So this while loop and the one that I showed you do the same thing. You can see here. All right. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this. I think it's clearer to use the uh, end of file. So I'm going to just make, I'm going to save this for you guys. Um, just put as demonstrated in the textbook in our book okay and then I'm going to leave my version in now oops if I select all of these lines that are commented out and I hold down the control and I hit minus that will uncomment those so I'm just going to make sure this all works now again you wouldn't do both of these one or the other but this is really my preference um, Okay, so that's using a loop with a file.